It is the butt crack of dawn, and I am cooking a recipe for my family tonight for dinner. We're making chicken, green chili, rice casserole in a crock pot. It's an adaptation of a rice side dish recipe that I love, that I use all the time, that I usually bake in the oven, but we're adapting it to a crock pot, and we're putting chicken in it. We'll see how it turns out. The good news, I have coffee and everything is okay when you have coffee. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. It is Crocktober time and I absolutely love doing this collab every year. All of these amazing channels that get together and give us our best crock pot recipes. And if you're a working mom like me, you need crock pot all the time, especially on swimming days because there's not a lot of time to cook. Not even kidding. This collab is put together by the YouTube Mommy Meetup group on Facebook, who is run by Debt Free Dana, who I love, and Dream Flight 6000, who I also love. And they put together the Corruptober collab. So I'm going to link the playlist down below. So go check out all the other awesome recipes. So let's jump on in. For this recipe, you're gonna need chicken breast, cream cheese, sour cream, chopped green chilies, two cans, Monterey Jack cheese, and rice and salt. First things first, I am going to put in my crock pot my chicken. And then I'm going to salt it. Then I'm going to add my chilies. Then you're going to cover it and turn your crock pot on low for five to six hours. Or if you're like me and you're a working mom, it's going to be more like nine because that's how things go here. So push that away. Now, you're going to need rice later on in the recipe, but not right at this moment. Since I don't want to come home and make rice immediately, I'm going to make rice now, and I'm going to set it. I have a delay timer, so I'll set it to start cooking right before I get home. If you can't do that, you just make rice when you get home. So, one two, three, four. Now I probably won't use all of this rice in this recipe. I actually always make extra to have on hand because Melina's favorite food is rice soup. And then add salt. And then we add our water. And then we are going to set this bad boy for delayed cook. It should be finishing up right about the time I get home. These other things I actually will put back in the fridge because we will not be using them until later today. So they need to be in the refrigerator. So off to work I go and the next time you see me, I'm not gonna have any makeup on. Just be forewarned. I am back and it has been a long day at work and Melina is already complaining about being hungry. So it is time to get this bad boy going. Hey, I forgot to mention this morning, the way we do things on this channel is everything is all about the budget and how much things cost and how we can, you know, make everything mesh with our life. So you will see in the sides that I am tallying up how much this recipe costs to make. And these are the actual prices that I pay here in Washington, DC. So go ahead and feel free to compare them to your life where you live and see if the prices are reasonable for your area. Most of the stuff for this recipe was bought at Costco. So I'll be, you know, basing the price off how much I use versus how much it actually costs. Like we bought a 25 pound bag of rice and we didn't use 25 pounds in this recipe. That would be a lot. So let's see how this looks. Very excited, a little nervous because you know, I don't know that this is gonna be great. So first things first, let's tear up our chicken. So 
Now what I'm trying to do here is get everything melted so when I add the rice in, it will go in like smoothly and uniformly mixing really smoothly and nicely. And then we're going to add the rice. And I'm doing this in about a half to half ratio of rice to chicken and cheese mixture. And because the rice is still a little dry, I'm going to put a little more sour cream. And of course, I will be adding more cheese. Why? Because you can never have too much cheese. Recipes like this, why I eat all vegetables twice a day. For two meals a day, all I eat is fruits and vegetables. Not even joking. And I lose maybe a pound a week. I need a spoon if I'm going to taste this. Okay. So I thought this would happen because I used only jack cheese. It's got a very jack texture and taste to it. I just spit food out. That happens. So I'm actually going to mix some cheddar cheese in with it. I'm going to change up the ratios for the recipe down in the description box. My recommendation for you would be like use a Mexican blend of cheeses. I think that will be much better. So I'm just going to be serving this with a bag of salad and that's going to be dinner. So if you are interested in more recipes, I do put out recipes and I've started including the cost of how much to make each recipe with each recipe I upload. So I'd love to have y'all stick around and make sure you click on that playlist and check out some of the other collaborators. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out. It's time to eat. We're hungry.